Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to paint a green parrot. It's a macaw, not exactly a parrot. I have painted another blue parrot in a video. I will share the link for that in the description. You can go and check that out. That's a small parrot I have painted in blue color. This is a green parrot with some highlights of blue and um, scarlet or orange. So I'm painting the background first this time uh, because I wanted the parrot to pop out. So we are painting a very light wash of greenish yellow, some sap green and uh, burnt sienna in the background. So I'm painting the branches with burnt sienna. This is a very light wash. I have not put too much water. And for the body, we are going to use a mix of uh, sap green and cerulean blue. So I have sp splattered some water in the background. So once it has completely dried, I am putting water on the parrot's uh, body. And I have wetted whole of the body except the face and the beak. That we will do later. So once this is done, I am just putting some cerulean blue on top. A very light wash. And uh, I am putting only light uh wash there because we want to show some light the light is coming from the top so we want to show that portion very light here also i have mixed some uh, sap green with yellow and i have painted the top portion of the wing so rest of the part we are painting with a mix of cerulean blue and sap green also i am dropping in some of the greenish yellow uh, to bring in some of the brightness so I'm dropping some color in between I have lifted some of the color from the top to show some light there later we'll darken the background and uh, it should become more prominent the body of the parrot so here i have uh, taken a mix of ultramarine blue and burnt sienna that is again uh, one of the my go-to shades when i want a very dark gray and a neutral gray or a little bit bluish gray so if you see in the reference image it is a little bit bluish gray so i have mixed ult ultramarine blue and burnt sienna for this for the bottom part i have mixed some ultramarine blue to sap green to darken it and that is what we are going to use here for any highlights and for the lower part of the body where we want to see a shadow so we'll also be showing a shadow uh, below the wing so whenever you are touching upon the bottom of the uh, parrot's body we also will be touching little bit on the under the wing So this is a further darker uh, mix here i have also added little bit of burnt sienna to the uh, ultramarine blue and sap green mix to make it a little darker also i'm uh, softening any hard edges with a damp brush so uh, here i'm trying to uh, paint some of the details of the feather we have repeated this in uh, my earlier uh, tutorials also how to paint the feathers the body feathers so this is these are not the feathers which are used for flying but these are body feathers so for this we are drawing uh, thin strokes and then merging that with water and on the opposite side we are pulling some details on the hair so you can follow the reference image but we do not need to paint all of them we have just tried to pull few few only here so again uh, uh, this is not a realistic uh, painting this is just a watercolor representation of how we see a green parrot acrylics or oils are a better medium if you want to paint uh, really photographic details of any subject but here we are just trying to have some fun with watercolors and also trying to experiment on the color mixes 
so again i am darkening the shadow area of the wing so we are doing it in layers we are not doing it in one go here i am painting just few marks on the wing so if you see the reference image it is not exactly uh, how it looks in the reference image but i have just tried to bring in some interest by painting some marks on the wing so this is pure cerulean blue with which we are painting the details on its wing i downloaded this picture from uh, pixabay so pixabay or uh, usplash is these two uh, generally i follow but i think i have got better pictures on pixabay they are royalty free and you can download uh, they have a pretty good search engine and you can download whatever reference material you need for your paintings from pixabay so here i have a uh, taken out of tube uh, vindaiki brown uh, from my palette and i have painted the details near the near the beak so this is again the darker mix of ultramarine blue and burnt sienna i have just darkened up the beak and painting the small tongue inside the beak and remember to put the darker color than required because they are all gonna dry very light and I'm using the same beak uh, color in the claws you can also uh, try some other gray mixes like uh, um, viridian uh, green and uh, maybe some any of the reds you can try that also also, you can use out of tube paint spray if you want to save some time. So I'm putting some more details on the neck portion. I did not want it to put too much, but yeah, little bit of details on the neck portion. And I'm dropping some more cerulean blue on the neck. Here with a zero number rigger uh, brush. I have uh, painted some more details. Uh, this is a Princeton Echo Alley trigger brush. Uh, other brushes I have used for this painting are uh, a number six round brush uh, with uh, synthetic hair and uh, a flat brush of Princeton. I think it is number eight or something, a flat brush for the background. You can use any six number brush you have. You, for the details, I have used uh, number four. And that is completely synthetic brush. So here I have taken uh, the same Vendaiki brown, which I have taken for the uh, face or under the beak area. And also I have mixed some of the greens uh, to it to make a new kind of olive green you can also use your out of the tube olive green because i was not liking the green color what i gave earlier so i've introduced a new green shade here which i have prepared with mixing being burnt sienna uh, to the earlier uh, brown mix so here i'm i'm painting i've gone back to the uh, to the branch on which the parrot is sitting and it's okay to not uh, paint the branch in detail it's perfectly fine you can highlight one or two branches and the others you can uh, just leave as loosely painted as I have done for the left side branch so if you see here um, just I want to talk about the focus and how the viewers eyes move so if you see on the left side we have a sharp peak and on the right side right side we have some red marks or the blue details and then on the very right side we have a branch where we have given a bit darker wash so all this will lead the viewer of this artwork or for any artwork to lead the eyes from uh, one point to another which is very important so whenever we do paint we make two or three focal points maximum three uh, in a painting or in any artwork 
so that uh, we are able to guide the viewer's eye so here what i have done i have done the details with sakura uh, black pigment i have taken a very light ultramarine blue and painted around the eye and for these details i have taken a very very light bendaiki brown i have put some marks and then i have just easily put the face marks with uh, my sakura liner so this is a finished piece um let me know if you guys try it uh post a link in the comments and i'll uh, check it out also if you want me to paint any other birds um please mention in the comments and i'll try and I'll, I'll try to give it a shot also if you like uh, this um, tutorial or the steps by step process uh, please subscribe to my channel till then bye bye